Ten years ago, if you told someone you were getting an art history degree, or any degree that doesn't immediately land you in an air-conditioned cubicle right out of university, the response would be pretty predictable. Oh, oh, cool, cool, uh, what are your career plans for that? The idea would be that your vast wealth of knowledge you accumulated in university and your given subject would ultimately result in you flipping burgers at McDonald's. But something has changed in the last decade. Now, you won't be getting a job at McDonald's, you'll be replaced by a burger droid that does that for you. Haha, <laughs> just kidding, that's, that's not where this is going. The idea before was that you were a hopeless fool who needed to be broken in by reality before you came to your senses and got a real degree like computer science or something. And for all intents and purposes, that conventional wisdom was right. But something weird happened. Something very weird. Something that practical knowledge hasn't really caught up to yet. And that weird thing is this. When it's time for me to relax, I don't turn on the television. Nobody does that. I open my laptop, go to YouTube, browse through my subscription feed. And I don't know about you, but my subscription feed on a casual glance looks like this. We have philosophy majors explaining the ethical questions raised in television shows, we have animators explaining the mechanics of what makes good animation between animations of their own which have been more interesting, more valuable, or more monetizable. Which is to say, if you're adept at turning the English essay into a video essay, if you're half decent at editing, heck, if you're really good at playing video games or even are just average but have an appealing personality, you can make money doing what you love. It's not guaranteed, heck, it's still not even likely, but you have less of an excuse than ever not to follow your dreams, provided you put Logan Paul in the title of your video. Which is why degrees that represent what people love, rather than what people think will make them the most money, now actually contain some amount of value if well applied. Underwater basket weaving is something that was condescendingly applied to degrees like art history and 1600s German polka that previously had no real life application. Nobody wanted to listen to you drone on about how 16th century Russian poetry really was very different from 17th century Russian poetry. Now make a YouTube video essay, talk really fast, use colorful metaphors, and slap some stock footage of polka on there and find some way to tie it to Donald Trump and BAM! You can literally reach more people than an entire television show. Whereas before, someone would have good reason for telling you you are never going to be able to monetize underwater basket weaving. Nowadays, people can ask themselves if they find value in watching someone underwater basket weave. And the answer to that question is yes, of course you want to watch someone weave a basket underwater. That sounds pretty cool. So imagine the confusion of people who 10 years ago were right in scoffing at people who followed their passion, rather than the economy when the underwater basket weaver is now selling the baskets they weaved on Amazons, raking in YouTube ad revenue with their family-friendly content, and having hundreds of faceless people fling money at them every month to sustain their Patreon account. I'm not saying you need to quit your job, go back to school, and invest in that sweet, sweet underwater basket weaving degree. That's a, that's a terrible idea. You are still safer off following the economy than your heart, and if your heart happened to follow the economy, then more power to you. What I am saying is that if you have decent video editing skills, the persistence to keep making videos through the ups and downs of YouTube algorithms, and the ability to make genuinely interesting content, whether that be about philosophy, art history, or even underwater basket weaving, then you might have a real chance of being able to create something you love for a living. And it's a small chance, but it's bigger than ever. And I think that's amazing. Of course, this is all conjecture. I have 200 subscribers. Between all of my videos, I've made like 17 cents. So if you like this video, help me pursue my underwater basket weaving dreams and like the video. Leave a comment, maybe even backhand slap that subscribe button. I don't know, I'm not your boss.